Hi everyone, so this is a re record for the AWS 73 based on the 2023 pack. So it says stationary points are when the gradient is zero. So there's your gradient, the gradient is zero. Down. But we can classify them. So we can have a max point, a min point, or points of inflection. So one way to do it is to look at the gradient on either side of the stationary point. So if we just differentiate this x squared minus 6x, we know that dy by dx is a 2x minus 6. Now, if I saw, it says it's stationary at 3 minus 7. So if I had, if I'd have put 2x minus 6 is equal to 0, so that's when the gradient's nothing, you would have got 3, and that tells you what it said. So what I do is I want to look on either side of it. So if I look at x is 2, then dy by dx is 2 lots of 2 minus 6, which is minus 2. If I look at x is 4, which is on the other side of the stationary point, I've got dy by dx is 2 lots of 4 minus 6, which is a plus 2. And if you look, there's a change in the sign here. So it's gone from, if you're doing a little table, so 2, a 3, a 4, a dy by dx, at 2, it was negative. At 3, it was 0. At 4, it was positive. So that's telling us that that one there will be a minimum. I should have put my little minus a little bit lower there, shouldn't I? So that's telling us it will be a minimum at 3, comma minus 7. Now there's one here for you, a question for you, but a similar idea. So it got two stationary points. So if I differentiate it, and then I check the value of the gradient. So this is doing for the x is 3, 1. It gives me a minus 9 and a 15, which as a picture looks like, ooh, looks like that. So that's going to be a minimum, isn't it? Yeah. But then if I look at the other one, so the other point was around the minus 1. So I'm going to try maybe minus 2, minus 1, 0. You can see at minus 2, the gradient was 15. And at 0, the gradient's minus 9. So if you look at the gradient, it goes up, across, and down. So that gives us a max point there. So that's quite nice. So you can do it that way. There's a better way of doing it, though, to be fair. And that's looking at the second differential of the value of the gradient of the gradient graph. So let's think about what's actually happening to the gradient here. So the gradient is positive and as big as it's getting. But as it travels around the curve, it's still positive, but it gets smaller. At this point, the value is zero, the gradient. And then it gets negative, but it's small. And then it gets negative, and it's getting bigger. It's a bigger negative value. So my gradient, if you imagine a graph of the gradient graph, the gradient is going down. So the gradient is decreasing. The value of the gradient here on that graph is going down. Whereas for this one, it's kind of like it's, a, it's negative and as big as it can get. When it gets to here, it's still negative, but it's smaller. And then here the gradient is zero. And here the gradient is positive, but it's small. Whereas here the gradient is positive and it's big. So the graph of the values of the gradient is going up. So that means that the gradient is increasing. Now this is, it's, it's like the gradient of your gradient graph. So because it's the gradient of your gradient graph, it's differentiating it again to find the gradient of the gradient graph. So this is the important bit. If the second differential, the gradient of the gradient graph, is less than zero, which means that the gradient is decreasing, it must be a maximum. Whereas if your d2y by dx squared, your gradient of your gradient graph, is greater than zero, so your gradient is increasing, it must be a minimum. Properly messes with your head. Just try to remember that bit. It's fine. But we need to find the stationary point first before we do it.
So that's that's fine, but um, let's have a quick look at them. Uh, so first of all, this is just finding the second derivative. So differentiate it once, 4x cubed minus 6x. Differentiate it again. So d2y by dx squared is a. So 12x squared minus 6. One here, so if I differentiate it once, it's x dash to that. So that's 3x squared plus 8x. If I differentiate it again, it's f double dash. What do you think of that? So that gives me a 6x plus 8 there. So that's that bit. So d2y by dx squared and f double dash. Right, so look at this next bit here. I'm running out of time because it's 11.04. I've got to try to record this and get out so Barney can set up his room. So I get to his room to do it. So it says find the coordinates of the stationary points. So I'm going to differentiate it. So that's 3x squared minus 12x. I know that it's stationary when dy by dx is equal to 0. So I know that 3x squared minus 12x is equal to 0. I can put that into poly and it'll give me x is 0 and x is 4. So in poly, if you put 3 minus 12 is 0, oops, it gives you x is 0 or x is 4. Now if you sub that back into y equals the x cubed minus 6x squared plus 2, it will give you, well for x is 0, you get 0 out. So that's going to, no, no, sorry, don't get 2 out, you don't get. So that gives us 0, 2. And if I sub 4 into it, I've got 4 cubed minus 6 times 4 squared plus 2, and the completed pattern tells me that that's minus 30. So that's 4 minus 30. So I know where my stationary points are, so now I have to determine if they're max or min. So I want to do the second differential. I'm not giving myself a lot of room here, am I? So differentiate it again is 6x minus 12. If I put in x is 0, that gives me a value of minus 12 if I sub it in. So as d2y by dx squared is less than 0, therefore it's max x is 0. So somehow now I need to fit it in for x is 4. I've not really spaced myself out because I'm a bit of a here. So if I try x is 4, so I'm going to have to squeeze this in. Sorry about that. So if I sub in 4, I've got 6 times 4 times minus 12, which is a plus 12. So as that is greater than 0, it must be a minimum. So you've got to remember that. There is an example for you to have a go at. So we differentiate it, we find the stationary point, which gets us there, that's the first bit. Then we differentiate it again, sub it in, and then we put the concluding statement. Right, there's one example left for this that I need to record. Uh, it says find it and then classify it. So I'm going to very much stop this and do another bit, okay? Bye bye.